Senator Rick Scott is also in Normandy. He says that the day's events were incredible, adding, quote, I am proud to honor my father and all of the brave soldiers who sacrificed in Normandy 75 years ago. His father, Orba Scott, was among the soldiers of the 82nd Airborne who parachuted onto the beach. Senator Scott says he is humbled to honor all of the men and women who have fought for our freedom. This morning in Tampa, McDill Air Force Base hosted a D-Day ceremony for veterans here. Hundreds gathered to honor those who served during the Battle of Normandy in 1944. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford was there. And Liz, there were nine World War II veterans in attendance as well. Pretty incredible. You know, I'm sure I wasn't the only one who had chills when those nine heroes were introduced today. It was like being with celebrities, everyone just wanting a chance to shake their hands and say thank you. Now this morning inside the auditorium on McDill Air Force Base, the crowd first watched footage from D-Day. After the World War II veterans were introduced, eight men and one woman, the crowd listened to guest speakers who talked about the greatest generation and the legacy they leave behind. The Honor Guard then presented each veteran with a folded flag as a thank you for their heroism and sacrifice. This is my country. This flag means a lot to me. And this flag was anywhere I went aboard ship, this flag waved. I have a feeling for the flag. To me, it just has a meaning. I can't, I can't explain it. It just means a lot to me. And I know that so many men and women have died for this emblem. After the ceremony, hundreds in attendance lined up to greet the World War II veterans and thank them for their service. One of the veterans who was in Normandy 75 years ago told me he was just doing what he was supposed to do. It was his duty to his country.